Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Thrill seeks of all ages, Coast of Chow here, Don Gasterborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. This is from Alton Towers Resort, and this is speaking about Nemesis Subterra. Now, a big shout out to at Galacticayle on Twitter, because he put up an image from the Subterra site. Uh, now, there's some brand new theming, but also something very interesting around the entrance area going into the building area now before we get started guys make sure you do like the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you're new around here click the notification bell so you never miss youtube video check the description down below for social media links and the google forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas and for now guys let's talk about what's happening at nemesis of terror at alton towers resort so the evidence is plain to see the brand new dripping barrels theming on either side of the gate, which you can see on this image. Again, thank you to Galacticayle and give him credit for the image. I'll put his Twitter inscription down below so you guys can see exactly what's happening. Uh, but, as well as the dripping barrel theming either side of the building area, sort of entrance into the building area, you can see a huge fence that's blocking off any kind of view to the building area. Now, this is a very surprising move, because this could mean work for Subterra going in these next year. So, I just thought I'd share that bit of evidence, but I'm going to show what that means for you guys in terms of the future of the site. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Just a short little bit of evidence and facts and stats there for this video, but it means a whole lot more in terms of discussing what this means. Now, for those of you who have no knowledge of Nemesis of Terror or you don't really remember Nemesis of Terror, let's jog your memory. So, back in 2011, we saw these plans. We saw the Lava Lump site being blocked off and demolished. Of course, it was the old site of the Dynamo Flat Ride as well. Um... I, I didn't really get to have a chance to go on it, but I did remember the dynamo. Um, and it was blocked off, that whole site was blocked off for the codenamed project Nemesis What Lies Beneath. And Nemesis of Terror was revealed and opened in 2012. It's a bunch of ABC rides uh, drop towers in the dark building, along with an elevator lift system with sound effects, theming. Um, some people sort of referenced it as a a themed, like a, a version of Alien Encounter with a themed fire drill at the end. I think that's what some people have sort of refer referenced it to. Um, sort of like that. And I think that this particular attraction did look a nice attraction. I, I was a bit, I was quite a huge fan of Subterra. Um, the original version as well, you know, before the, 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 the changes, of course, you know, during that 2012 season, if you didn't know already, fun fact, uh, they did have to make some changes. Um, so they sort of changed the ending to the, the main change was the ending to the ride, really. Uh, it used to be just an elevator lift, elevator went pitch black, sound effect, people in gas masks, uh, and then you sort of, you know, well, not really people in gas masks, but you sort of led out uh, to the end of the ride. But the changes in a total of six weeks, I believe, changes were occurring. And then when they reopened the ride, the change to the exit was you would go out, there'd be a man with a gas mask, shining light in your face, and you'd be ushered into a decontamination maze with more actors. Uh, now, and then that would be like a sort of scare ending to the ride. So it was a more improved exit to the ride. Um, and that sort of ride ran on until, you know, 2016 and, you know, we had the closure due to the Towers Loving Care program at the time. Of course, it was just after the Smiler incident, so you had the new TLC program, the Towers Loving Care program, where you would have, um, you know, rides closing and rides being refurbished and heritage being refurbished and, you know, buildings and everything, getting some TLC and some real tender loving care, some Towers Loving Care, really. And, um... You know, it was that whole program that really, and the budget cut after the Smiler incident and how much that cost the, the company and everything um, in terms of compensation fee. Um, it sort of brought an end to Nemesis of Terror, really. Now, of course, it was reopened, but as a scare maze uh, at Scarefest uh, with Project 42 for a good couple of years. And, of course, that got kind of shut down because of the whole COVID-19 pandemic. And... Project 42 was never seen again. It, it, it wasn't reopened for Scarefest last year. 
may not reopen for Scarefest this year. I'm going to talk more about that in a moment. But, yeah, that's sort of a little brief story of Nemesis of Terror and its life cycle. So it's been through a bit of bad luck due to the Smiler incident, the ride closed, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the maze hasn't been operating. So things have stopped Sub Terror reaching its full potential, in my opinion. I think a couple of things. Smiler incident and the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Now, looking at the image in question, which I'll put on your screen again now, um, I feel like this could mean a few things. It could mean the reopening of Subterra. However, it could mean a couple of other things. It could mean a brand new attraction. Now, whether that means uh, a new storyline, including the phalanx into it, uh, like a phalanx operative system, could be a new ride system in the building, could be a new walkthrough system in the building. Look at some of the... Um, look at, for example, the new Minions attraction that's being planned for Orlando at Universal. You know, they were sort of contacting like a, a sort of stairwell company, like a, a like a, a walkthrough stair company, something like that. You know, when you stand on a moving platform, it sort of moves you uh, through on its own. You sort of just stand there and just watch things go past as you sort of, you know, going along. Could be one of those things. We could be bringing one of those to the UK if this is supposed to be a new ride for 2023. Um... And sort of have this interactive walkthrough attraction or moving attraction uh, where you're standing on the platform, you're being moved around this phalanx operative system, and maybe there's a second ride system towards the end of the ride or some kind of exit maze kind of thing. Um, and sort of theme it around the phalanx lab. Now, another thing it could be is a Scarefest maze construction. Could be a bit of early maze construction. Now, we believe there's been some early Halloween Horror Nights construction, which I will probably go through in an update at some point in the future, in the near future, in the next few days, hopefully. Um, so with Halloween Horror Nights potentially starting a little bit of construction early, or looks to be con starting construction a bit early on one of the mazes, um, maybe this is Alton Towers doing a Halloween Horror Nights. Maybe this is them starting early construction on a new scare maze or a reef or a revamped version of project 42 now i could be wrong could be completely wrong but uh, the thing that makes me doubt it being scarefest is the fact that we've got new theming up and it's sort of starting to look a bit a little bit more like it could be for something to do with a ride or attraction uh, i could be wrong though could be exceptional theming for a, for a scare maze or something like that or a uh, or a or a walk through scare attraction um so scare fest isn't completely ruled out i wouldn't say it was my best guess i'd say maybe a brand new attraction or a revamped sub subterra is my best guess but i don't know i feel like i i, I personally i feel like Scarefest wouldn't be completely ruled out. I don't think it will, especially if we start to see um, stuff relating to scare mazes, like any cages where actors could stand, or any theming that's specifically related to scare mazes, or um, any Scarefest theming going on around there as well. Um, you know, that would make it more towards a Scarefest attraction, which would hint towards Scarefest attraction more than an actual attraction. Um, I personally want it to be a revamped Subterra, whether that be a brand new storyline unrelated to Nemesis um, and have the Phalanx operative involved again and sort of a new storyline with a new kind of uh, story, un like I said, unrelated to Nemesis or maybe related to Nemesis, you never know. Um, do I think it'll be a new ride system? 50-50. I've heard people saying that the ride system's still in there in parts. I've heard people say the ride system's gone now. Don't know what the definitive truth is. Comment down below if you know for certain. Uh, but I personally don't know the definitive truth. I'm stuck between the two. I'm still 50-50 on the situation. Um, if the ride system's partly still in there um, and they can replace it, then use the same ride system. But if there's going to be a new ride system and the old one's gone completely, then, you know, I think it'd be interesting to see what kind of ride system they would use if they're going to bring in a new dart ride or a revamped Subterra with a new storyline and a brand new system. So, I think it's something to keep your eyes on. In terms of an opening date, I'm going to guess 2023, because I think 2023 could be the year that Nemesis closes to get its whole retrack and refurbishment. Um, 
unless the, unless they let Nemesis have the 2024 anniversary year and then retrack it over 2025 and refurbish it in 2025 and have it open for 2026. I mean, it would make more sense to have it open for its anniversary, especially with the anniversary coming up. So I would say 2023 is the best guess for its, um, you know, closing year. So maybe this year could be the last year we ride the original Nemesis before it gets its retrack and refurbishment. Me personally, if this opens in 2023 and Nemesis closed in 2023, I think Scare Maze or attraction wise, doesn't matter. I think it could be a similar situation to the Welcoming and Wicker Man. I think the refurbished Subterra or the reused Subterra for attractional Scare Maze could be, in my opinion, hinting towards what the next phase of the story of Nemesis could be. I think that, I think it could, if it's going to do things to Nemesis, whatever they could be doing to Subterra, I think it could relate to Nemesis. And I think that it could give hints away as to what could be changed with the ride in terms of, you know, if they're going to make, I don't think they'll make any story changes, but I feel like with Nemesis, the ride, the, the coaster, they could make some little adjustments here and there in terms of theming, etc. So maybe they include the same theming in in, the, in both attractions. So um, I think it could give some hints away. I think it could be related to the new, uh, to, well, not the new story for Nemesis, but uh, the story of Nemesis and, um, you know, sort of get it back on the running. Um, and I feel like, you know, like I say, it could be a welcoming Wicker Man situation where it's sort of related to each other. So, uh, but in terms of opening day, I would say 2023 is probably the best guess at this particular point in time. Uh, but there we go. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am Ghost Chow, Coop Living the Coast Life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a nemesis-tastic day.